Hi, welcome to Siemens NX2007 video tutorial. It's a remake of an old one, 9 HD and of course with audio commentary. You could do this exercise completely without any wireframe geometry, but I want to use it as an exercise for wireframe geometry. So let's have a look at the drawing. So here's the drawing. You could make a screenshot and then follow the exercise step by step. So let's begin and have fun with Siemens NX. Okay, at first I want to create two datum planes, one with a distance to the YZ plane, and that should be 470. Apply and another one parallel to this one, and this should be 240 millimeters. Then I want to create a point at 080. But not cursor location in fit point, and confirm. Then a line from the origin to that point. The support plane should be the YZ plane. And apply. And then another line which starts at this point. And goes up to that plane, but it should go at an angle. And the reference for the angle should be the Z axis. And it should be this way around, and this should be 5 degrees. And it should not have the end limited by value, but it should go until selected and confirm. Now I want to insert an arc, so you can find a tangent tangent radius arc. If you go to insert, go to curve, go to lines and arcs, and there would be, for example, a tangent, tangent radius arc. So select one line, select the second one, and add a radius of 60 millimeters. Okay, now let's trim. I want to trim this line here with that endpoint. Apply. And I want to trim that line with this endpoint here. And OK. And now I can make an extrude with that curve here. So go for home, go for an extrude. Go for tangent curves, that's OK. And make it up to, until selected, to this plane here. And confirm. Then I want to extract that edge here. So go for more. Go for extract geometry. Composite curve, that's OK. Tangent curves, that's OK. And select this edge and confirm. So I've got that edge as extract as well. Next, I want to create an arc. Therefore, I will need a center point, and I could create that point before or on the fly. Whatever you want. So let's go to curve and maybe do the point first. And that point should be at 0, 0, and the radius down there should be 60, which gives me that point. Now I can go for an arc circle with arc circle from center, yes. This would be the center point. The support plane should be the XZ plane, this one here. And 
I want to go through a point, of course, and the radius should be 50. So let's go for 50, but that's already defined by the point. So if I go to that point here, to the origin point, here, which will give me that arc here, and I want to have an angle of 60 degrees. And confirm. Next I need a line, and that line should start at a point, at an end point. Let's go for a point, and create an end point on that arc, like this, and confirm. Now, the end option should be at an angle. The angle needs a reference element, that would be the set axis here. And it should go in this direction, and that should be 30 degrees. So go for the 30 degrees, that's okay. Select the plane, that would be this plane. And the end should be until selected up at that line. So it somehow switched my angle around. So let's move it over here. And in this case, this would be, or you could go this all along, that would be 330 degrees. And now confirm. Great. I will need something similar over here. So, let's go for our arc circle. Again, circle arc from center, yes. I want to create that point, and that would be the distance from another point. So, I want to use the end point of that composite curve. In order to do that, I want to hide that extrude, and let's go for that endpoint here. Okay, that's the reference, and I want to have it at an offset. And that offset, I want to go for, let's go for rectangular, and that would be in the set direction, and this would be 60. Confirm, confirm. The plane should be, again, this one here. And I want to go through a point. So let's go through a point. And that point would be, of course, the end point of that one here. So I could go here, confirm, go for the complement, angle, bring it over here, and that angle should be 80 degrees, and confirm. Now I want to start with a line, again, go for an end point, like this. You could, of course, select the BREP element, which might cause trouble later on. So therefore I go for endpoint, confirm. Now that line should be at an angle. Again, the reference element would be the set axis. And in this case, rotate it around. That would be 10 degrees. Like that. And the end here should be defined by that upper plane, this one here. And confirm. Nice. Next I will need two arcs and two tangents up there. That's kind of similar. So I want to have a point up here at the end. So go for a point or go for an arc first, whatever you want. Again, I will select that arc circle center from center, and therefore we'll need a point. So let's go here for that point creation dialog, 
select an endpoint, select that line here, then go for a rectangular offset maybe, and that should be at that's the y-axis at minus, so it's 0, minus 50, 0, and OK. Again, I want to go through a point, and that would be again that endpoint. So, create it once more. Not like this, but you could go here for the endpoint, because that endpoint is nested, so I can't select it. So I go for a new endpoint, select it here, again, confirm. And in this case, I want to go for an arc of 90 degrees. That should do. And OK. Then I need a line from this point to this one here tangent, so it might be a good idea to define the points beforehand, because the, can then, then you can then use those points, and you don't have to do them always on the fly, and maybe twice on the fly. But anyway, let's go for a line. That line should start at an endpoint, at this endpoint, okay? And then the end should be tangent, and the support plane should be, of course, this one here. Then go here and select that arc, and confirm. Then I can trim. I want to trim this curve with that line, and OK. Nice. Same on the other side. Again, go for an arc. That's OK. Go for the Create Point dialog and go for Endpoint. Select that composite curve here. Confirm. Support plane again would be this one. And I want to go through a point. No, I need the center point here. Sorry, that's wrong. That's not this point. I have to undo that. Or add here that rectangular offset, which would be at y should be minus 50 once more. OK, that's more like it. Now I want to go through a point, yes, and that point would be again the end point of this line here, and confirm. Let's switch to the complement arc, and make it, in this case, it's again 90. 90 should do, and confirm. Now, let's go for another line, go for again an endpoint, select this here, Confirm. Second one would be tangent to this arc. And the support plane should be, again, this one here. And confirm. Then trim. I want to trim this arc with that line and confirm. Looks pretty good. It's kind of odd, but in NX I have to use a fill surface. I can't do it with through mesh. That will not work, and that studio surface will not work as well. So I went for a fill surface. And therefore I will have to hide this curve, those curves, and the arc. Yes, because I want to select the edges of that extrude. Now, let's go for the fill surface. Where is it? Fill surface. And I want to use tangent curves. And it should have G1 
continuity to that surface. So let's go for G1 tangent, select that edge here. That's OK. Now I can hide that extrude and now go for G0 position and go for tangent again, this one here, and of course that one. So we've got G1, 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 G0, 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 and confirm, which gives me a very nice full surface here, but it's hidden because it's already merged or sued to this one here. Quite nice. Now the same procedure over here. Let's hide that composite curve. Go again for a full surface, which should be up here. Now go for tangent, yes, select the edges here. Now hide the extrude. And I forgot to change here the tangency, so let's go for G1 tangent. But therefore, let's bring it in. You can't switch it afterwards, obviously. So let's deselect it. Or just cancel it. Go again for that full surface. Go for G1 tangent. Tangent, select the edge, that's OK. Now hide the extrude. Why? Because otherwise it will prolong up that edge here. So next should be G0. Tangent, yes, select this one here, that one, and confirm. And show that last one here, which is the complete surface, and I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really helpful. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.